Habara bara kabisa mpendwa msikilizaji na sasa tunapoingia katika awamu ifuatayo basi tunamruhusu askofu wetu mkuu askofu mpendwa atuelekeze Very well blessed saints and now as we take on the next segment we will now allow our beloved archbishop to lead us on from there wa wasikilizaji tunapoingia katika awamu ya pili tutamruhusu askofu wetu mkuu archbishop aweze kutuelekeza kuanzia pale Thank you so much Pastor Joan Asante sana Pastor Joan Precious people Watu wa dhamani This is indeed a mighty night Hii ama kweli ni usiku mkuu In the last segment the prophet of the Lord the mighty prophet Katika awamu iliyopita nabii mkuu wa Mungu He enlightened us deeper. Alitufunua macho hata kilindini. That what the Lord did in Kakamega. Ya kwamba kile ambacho Bwana alitenda Kakamega. We actually feasted on the abundance of the house of the Lord. Hakika ni kwamba tulifurahia na kusherehekea juu ya utele wa nyumba ya Mungu. And we drank from the fountain of the Lord. Na tukanywa toka katika chemichemi za Bwana. We saw the love of God. Tuliona upendo wa Mungu. In this segment katika hii awamu we are privileged that the prophet of the Lord himself tumetunukiwa kwamba mtumishi wa Mungu nabii mwenyewe will take testimony atachukua ushuhuda of what the Lord did in Kakamega wa kile ambacho Bwana alitenda Kakamega and as the Lord will lead him na kama vile Bwana atakavyomwongoza the bishops council baraza la maaskofu will come in nao pia wataingilia kati to magnify and glorify the Lord more and more ili kumtukuza na kumuinua Bwana zaidi na zaidi for this is indeed historic and mighty kwa kuwa hii kwa kweli ni ya kihistoria na ni kuu precious people watu wa dhamani the servant of the lord the prophet mtumishi wa mungu nabii amen thank you archbishop daktari asante sana archbishop daktari now this is a very important moment sasa huu ni wakati ulio wa muhimu sana at which we are going to take your testimonies ambapo tunaenda kuchukua shuhuda zenu And this is a wonderful opportunity. Na hii ni tunuku ya kupendeza. That uh, this nation can take. Ya kwamba hili taifa laweza kuchukua. In order to celebrate the wonder works of the blood of Jesus. Ili kupata kusherehekea matendo ya ajabu ya damu ya Yesu. And we we'll go right away to the phone calls. Na moja kwa moja tutaingia katika simu. Amen. Amen. And now precious listeners the number is 0538014798 Jesus is Lord radio hello praise the lord praise the lord pastor Juan. praise the lord this is pastor Maureen. yes pastor the worship of the Serigan. yes so the prophet of the lord today we are gathered here at the most main altar to celebrate the mighty works of the lord yes And so we have five testimonies right here. Yes. And the first one is so mighty and powerful before the Lord. Amen. This is about Florence Akinyi. Florence Akinyi. 32 years old. Yes. She has been suffering from tuberculosis for six for the last six years. Tuberculosis for six yes. years. Yes. And so she has gone through rejection. Yes. Even the father kicked her out of the home. Yes. She rented the house together with the mother at the uh, marketplace from a village called Budokomi. Budokomi. And so uh, Florence went to the meeting of the Lord in Kokonega. Yes. And when the prophet of the Lord Yes. was declaring healing. Yes. And mentioning various sicknesses and diseases. Yes. Florence was one of those. Amen. And so she is here. Yes. She can tell you how she moved even to Bale Hospital in Uganda. Bale Hospital in Uganda? Yes. yes. And then she has also been in Busia, Busia District Hospital. Busia District Hospital. In fact, on her way to Kakamega, she says, Yes. She was carrying a container where she was 
feeling as she was uh, coughing and spitting some parts from the chest. Carrying a container where she would spit onto, whenever she, she coughs, she would spit onto. Yes. Yes. Whenever she was in that matatu, she was just coughing and spilling, and you know, people are fearing, yes. turning away their necks, you know, injection. Yes. Oh. And even she could not even walk for 20 meters. She could walk 20 meters in two hours. That is sitting down and resting because she was so emotional. 20 but meters right in two now, hours. right now, she is here. Yes. I want you, Pastor Joanne, to talk to her. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Karibu sana Florence. Amen. Ebu tuwabie vile ambavyo ulikuwa unaumia ukiwa na kifuwa kiku. Niliumia kifuwa kiku muda wa miaka sita. Miaka sita. Amen. Kwa hivyo hii ni ile inaitua drug resistant tuberculosis. Amen. Nilikuwa na kohowa bila kupowa. Nilikuwa na kohowa na nisitoku. Ndiyo. Kwa hivyo kikohosi ilipoa ukiwa katika mkutano wa buwana kakamega Unakubuka ni siku gani jumamosi ama jumapili Jumamosi wa siku kama tunaenda jumapili Tanane ya usiku Kwa siku ya nikohosi ilipoa kabisa paka wa leo Sanane usiku ndiyo ulitambua kwamba kikohosi kimekoma kabisa mpaka wa leo Kimekoma kabisa mpaka wa leo Mchungaji ya metuambia kwamba ulikuwa na udhoofu kwa mwili Ungeweza kutembea Kimekoma mdaifu kama hata suwezi ni katembea hata po mitazi Kikuwa natembea na pumuzika, natembea na pumuzika Kena upande wa lefti Kikuwa suwezi ni kanalia mkono wa lefti Uo mkono ujikuwa ulikuwa kakisa mpaka chini kwa mgu. Lakini tangu nitoka kakamega sasa nadalia uo mkono vizuri sana hakuna ufungo eda ufungo. Amen. God bless his mighty. Bwana isu wa sifiwe. Bwana isu wa sifiwe. Florence, baada ya uponyaji, umerudi hospitalini? Umerudi hospitalini, kikoozi, kimepotea kabisa, tena uchungu kwa kikuwa. Nimepotea kabisa tena upande mmoja kwa left hand side ilikuwa imepoza lakini sasa imekoma kabisa imepona kabisa hata ninaweza nikaulalia Amen That is mighty That's very powerful That's very mighty Jesus is Lord radio hello praise the Lord Hello Karibu sana Pastor Luke from Malava Pastor Luke from Malava The Lord bless you Pastor Luke when we were in Kakamega, in fact, we converted my church. In my church is really happy. I thank God because of the prophet. He has really converted my church. My church is full of spirit of God, really praying on what God is doing. I thank God for that. Amen. Pastor Luke, my Lord, is from Malava. He says... He has not been in King Southridge Church. Pastor Luke anatoka Malava na anasema hajakuwa katika kanisa la King Southridge. But his church has been converted by coming to the meetings of the Lord. Lakini kanisa Amen. lake limegeuzwa kwa kuja kwa mikutano za Bwana. And he says he feels there is the flow of the Holy Spirit. Na anasema kwamba anahisi kuna mtiririko wa Roho Mtakatifu after coming from the meeting of the Lord in Kakamega please. Baada ya kutoka kwa mkutano wa Bwana wa Kakamega. We bless the Lord. Thank you so much. Jesus is Lord Radio. Hello. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Karibu sana. This is Pastor Eric Kabanja from Ria Kaunta. Pastor Eric. I bless the Lord God of heaven. Yes. When you are at Kakamega. Yes, Pastor. There is a baby by the name Michael. Michael. About 12 years old. 12 years old. 
Uh, together with the other, uh, the altar brethren who remained at uh, the altar who could not make it with us to Kakamega. So they were listening through the radio? They were listening through the radio. Yes. At a distance of about 50 meters from the altar. Yes. At the time the prophet of the Lord stood on the altar. Yes, on Saturday? On Saturday. Yes. The Lord God Almighty touched the ears of the young boy and it is not open. So was he deaf and dumb since birth? From birth, the right ear was not hearing and was oozing, oozing past. Oozing past since birth? Since birth. For 12 years, ever since he was born, he had been oozing pass on the right ear and could not hear from that ear also? Could not hear completely and even the people had to shout for him to be heard. Yes. So this time when the prophet of the Lord declared actually. Yes, please. The Lord touched him. Yes. And he heard as if the prophet was preaching in the altar. He heard as if the prophet of the Lord was preaching at the altar. Yes, yes. As in, that means it was very loud for him. It was loud for him and he ran towards the altar. And he ran towards the altar. Yes. Thinking the prophet of the Lord was at the altar because it was too loud for him. It was loud for him. Yes. And then the, the, the others, two colleagues who are listening to the radio, yes. called him at low tone and he was able to respond. He blessed the Lord because indeed his ears are listening even today. Amen. How about the, the oozing of the pus? Has it stopped? That one stopped and dried completely. Stopped and dried completely instantly on Saturday. Instantly on Saturday, that very moment. Amen. Thank you so much. You bless the Lord. Jesus is Lord Radio. Hello. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Nashukuru Mungu. Ndio ninaongea na nani? Naitwa Pastor Kuria. Pastor Kuria kutoka wapi? Ndege Olta. Karibu sana mchungaji. Amen. Ndio. Kwa siku ya leo. Ndio. Mbele za Bwana. Ndio. Na mbele za nabii wake. Yes. Nataka kuwakilisha ushuhuda mbili. Ndio. Ambazo Bwana ametutendea hapa maeneo yetu ya ndege. Ndio kupitia kwa mkutano wake uliokuwa pale Kakamega. Yes. Hakika Bwana ameponya mtoto. Yes. Kwa mzee anaitwa Erika Kenga. Erika Kenga. Yes. Ndio. Mtoto wake anaitwa Branson Muliango. Branson. Yes. Branson alikuwa na shida gani? Branson ni mtoto wa mwaka mmoja na miezi tatu. Ndio. Na alikuwa na shida ya asthma. Asthma asma ambayo imekuwa ikimkumbua kutoka wakati alizaliwa ndio ameshinda hospitali ameenda moyo ilifaro ndio ameenda St Jude huko Eldoret ndio ameenda Oruma district hospital mm-hmm. yes na ametembea hapa pia Samaritan clinic ambayo iko maeneo hii ya ndege baada ya kuhamia hapa ndio so mkutano wa Kakamega ndio ilikuwa mkutano wao wa kwanza mkutano wao wa kwanza yes na tulipoenda na wao ndio Hakika Bwana alimtembelea huyu mtoto. Ndio. Na, na wakati mvua ilinyesha. Ndio. Ndio Mungu alimponya huyu mtoto. That is very amazing. Amen. Mzazi alijuaje kwamba mtoto amepona? Mzazi labda tueleze yeye mwenyewe vizuri kwa kina. Ndio. Karibu sana. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe mama Bramson. Amen. Karibu sana. Mtoto alipanga mgonjwa tangu Right. Ndiyo. Akaanza kufungana. Ndiyo. Nikimpeleka kwa tsalo akaniambia ni asthma. Akasema ni asthma. Eh. Ndiyo. Sasa nilikuwa nampelekana kila mwezi anapewa madawa. Ndiyo. Sasa ulipofika kwa mkutano wa Bwana, ulijua lini kwamba mtoto wako amepona asthma? Nilikatazonga nisimtange maji baridi. Ndiyo. Masasa jioni nisimtoe nje. Ndiyo. Nimweke anga mangosa choto. Ndio. Sasa vile tulienda Kakamega. Ndio. Atakuwa na mali za kiasi kikinga tulikaa na hiyo mpai katunyesha. Ndio. Hiyo sasa dejion. Ndio. Na mtoto hakufungana. Mtoto hakufungana wala hakuumia. Eh hakuumia. Ndio. Sasa hapo ndio nilijua tu mtoto wangu amepona. Hiyo ikakudhihirishia kwamba mtoto amepona. That, that, that's a very big testimony. Thank you. That's a wonderful testimony. Can we hear to, to the second healing in that altar? Wacha tupokee ushuhuda wa pili katika madhabahu hayo. 
Bwana asifiwe pasta. Amen. Ushuhuda wa pili. Ushuhuda wa pili. Ndio. Kuna dada anaitwa Frida Kerubo. Frida Kerubo. Yeye yeah, na miaka 31. Na Ndio. Yes, yeah, tulikuwa tumeona pia na yeye kuandika mkutano. Ndio. Na pia yako na shida ya asthma. Asthma pia. Ambao Bwana alimuondoa kwae. Ndio, kwa muda gani amekuwa na asthma? Ilianza mwaka wa 2009. 2009. Eh, na sasa aliponywa hii mwaka katika mkutano wa Kakamega. Amen. Na alikuwa ametembelea hospitali ya PGH hapa Nakuru. Ndio. So tunamshukuru Bwana sana. Amen. Labda kerubo mwenyewe atueleze kwa kina. Ndio. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana asifiwe kerubo. Nilikuwa nimedungwa masindano siku ya kifua. Ulikuwa umedungwa masindano? Eh, na yeah. nilikuwa natumia frano. Frano na kiko kila siku. Kila siku. Na wakati kilikuwa kilikuwa kinaenda kwa kamera. Ndio. Kabla kitaenda nilikuwa nina kiko na shida sana nilikuwa nafungana kwa haraka haraka. Ndio. Lakini kenye kujenga nilikuwa kama hata aenda aramiki ndio ni lini ulipata kujua kwamba umepona hiyo pride yenye tulikimbia tukamrasi na bii ndio bana na nilikuwa nimenyeshewa amen thank you so much may the lord be glorified jesus is lord radio hello bwana asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe asifiwe mwafasi amen pastor john uma kutoka kokoroni alter karibu sana mchungaji Nina mzee mmoja kanisani hapa ambaye amekuwa na ukoma leprosy leprosy ndio na tulipokuwa tukienda kakamega ndio nyama ilikuwa ikianguka kutoka mkono yake mkono yake mkuu mwisho ilikuwa imekatika anaitwa nani anaitwa mzee malome mzee malome hata mkono ulikuwa umekatika kwa sababu ya ukoma kwa sababu ya ukoma ndio na tulipotoka kakamega ndio Mungu amemgusa na amepona na hata sasa hivi imekauka na anaweza piga hata makofi. Anaweza piga makofi. Imekauka kabisa kuna kidonda kimoja. Pastor John Ouma, mzee huyu alikuwa amekatika mkono. Ndio. Mkono wa upande gani? Vidole zote. The fingers dropped off. Vilikuwa vinanguka tu enyewe. Kwa sababu ya ukoma kwa sababu ya ukoma. Alikuwa anasikiliza radio. Tulienda naye Kakamega. Oh, mlimleta kwa mkutano wa Bwana Kakamega. Tulimleta kwa mkutano wa Bwana Kakamega. Ni lini muliona kwamba kuna mabadiliko yameanza kutendeka katika maisha yake? Jumapili ndio fuatia tulipotoka Kakamega. Jumapili mkaona kwamba ameanza kubadilika. Kabisa. Mchungaji waweza kutoa maelezo zaidi vile alivyokuwa anakaa tafadhali? Oh, ni mkono ilikuwa ni vidonda yote. Mikono yote ilikuwa vidonda. Tena ilikuwa sikikatike kianguka. Kwa hivyo hana vidole tunapoongea sasa hivi. Hivi sasa hana vidole. Vidole tano hakuna. Mkono mmoja upande na mkono wa kulia. Ndio. Vidole vyake vimekatika. Vidole vyake vimekatika. Na mkono wa kushoto. Ndio. Vidole moja imekatika. Amepoteza vidole sita. Eh. Hey. Sasa hivi anakaa namna gani baada ya kuponywa kwa mkutano wa Bwana Kakamega? Anaponywa kabisa zote zimekauka. So the wounds dried up. Yes. Vidonda vilikauka? Kabisa. Vimekauka vyote? Kabisa. Anaweza piga makofi? Anaweza piga hata pinge ufikie. Ndio. <laughs> Hiyo ni kuu sana mchungaji. Yeah. Je, kuna picha zenye alipiga wakati alikuwa na vidonda hivyo? Ya, yeah, anaso barua ama alikuwa akienda nato hospitali nikasanya. Ndio, alienda hospitali gani na gani? Alienda New Nyanza General Hospital. New Nyanza General Hospital. Muhoroni Sub District Hospital. Muhoroni Sub District Hospital. Na hizo zingine. Na amekaa na shida ya ukoma kwa muda gani? Miaka tano He had leprosy for five years. He lost his right fingers, five fingers, and he lost one finger on the left hand. And then the wounds have dried up now. He can clap. That's a very huge miracle. Thank you so much, Pastor John. Jesus is Lord Radio. Hello. Bwana sifiwe. Karibu. Amen. Karibu sana. 
Pastor Philip. Pastor Philip. Wa mshamata. Shamata. Ndio. Ushuhuda mchungaji karibu. Eh kuna watoto wa dada yangu. Ndio. Wawili. Watoto wa dada yako wawili. Ndio. Ndio. Kamau alikuwa amepotea. Kamau alikuwa amepotea? Eh na njoroge. Na njoroge. Kwa muda miaka ile? Miaka mine Kamau alikuwa amepotea? Na njoroge miaka miwili. Na njoroge miaka miwili wajulikani waliko. Eh lakini baada ya mkutano wa Bwana. Ndio. Wamepata kurudi. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Tunafurahia sana. Amen. Na tunamshukuru Bwana. Amen. That's absolutely mighty. Thank you so much. Jesus is Lord Radio. Hello. Praise the Lord. Hello. Praise the Lord. Amen, Pastor John. Amen. Karibu sana. Ninaongea na nani? Naongea na Pastor John kutoka kona altar. Pastor John kutoka kona altar. Yes. Na leta ushuhuda wa mtoto hapa mdogo wa miaka 10 Kelvin Odera. Kelvin Odera. Yes. Yeye alikuwa na ugonjwa ezima. Eczema. Ndio. Mwili wake ulikuwa umepasuka, inatoa damu. Ndio na inatoa usaa ndio ugonjwa huu ulimuingia akiwa na miaka minne anakuwa kimsumbua sana anapelekwa hospitali nyingi ndio kitale district kitale district hospital na hospitali nyingi hata ya lupe hata lupe e, kule busia na matibabu hajawahi patikana ndio ugonjwa umemsumbua hata na miaka kumi ndio na tulipoenda Kakamega tulienda pamoja na yeye ndio na kule Mungu akamguza. Amen. Akamguza juma la kwanza kutoka Kakamega. Ndio. Tulishuhudia amepona ndio gonjo yote imekauka ulikuwa mwili mzima ilikauka. Amen. Usaiisha. Ndio. Na sasa amekuja kwa madebao amepona kabisa zimekauka. Amen. Tunambariki Bwana sana. Bwana anaendelea kumtengenezea ngozi mpya sasa anachukua ngozi mpya ngozi ile yenyewe ya kutoka kwa Mungu. Vidonda vyote vimekauka. Vimekauka sasa. Amen. Amen sasa anamtukuza Mungu tu anaendelea sasa zinaendelea kukwisha katika. Tunashukuru Bwana sana. Thank you the Lord be blessed. Thank Amen. You. Thank you so much. Thank you Pastor Jonah. Bwana sifiwe. Karibu. Naitwa Pastor Murei. Karibu pasta. Hapa tuko na shuhuda kubwa kubwa kabisa. Ndio. Ambayo ni ya kushangaza. Francis. Francis. Alikuwa na miaka 13. Ndio. Alianza mambo kama ya uchawi. Uchawi. Ndio. Ndio. Akawa na kichaa na kichaa yake ni ya kushangaza sana. Yes. Sababu alianza kukula mafi. Ndio akawa akikulanga mafi ndio kwa miaka hizo sote akiwa secondary school ndio wakati ambapo kitai inapomkujia ndio anajisahau kabisa ndio anakundua tu wakati ambapo anatoka kwa choo ya kwamba anakula mafi eh eh uh-huh. so akakula kwa hizo miaka mpaka akamaliza secondary school mpaka akaenda kwa bible school bible school hapo saidika ndio akasunguka kwa makanisa ndio hapo saidika mpaka siku moja alikuwa kwa kanisa moja kupanda mbegu ndio akapanda mbegu kile kilifu kumi elfu kumi na je amepona kwa hali gani sasa sasa pona alikamega alipona katika mkutano wa bwana kakamega amepona kabisa hiyo jambo ilimetoka kwake na hapo nomo na ana hamu hiyo Can I speak with him please? Put him on phone. Yes, and I'll talk to Praise the Lord. Amen Francis, how are you? Very fine. The Lord bless you Francis. Talk to me about your situation now. Yes, I'm very happy to talk to you. The Lord bless you my son. For about one I had uh, been eating my my weight for all those years. You were mentally ill and you were eating your feces. Yes, also they took me to Madare Hospital. They took you to Madare Mental Hospital. They yes, took me there. The psychiatric hospital. Talk to me. Yeah, they had uh, found me in a toilet, in a public toilet, eating that thing. They found you in the yeah. public toilet eating feces. Yes, and I stayed there for two days inside a public toilet. 
or you stayed in the public toilet for two days eating human feces? Yeah, for two days and two nights. Yes, and then they took you from there to Madari Mental they, Hospital. They took me to Madari Mental Hospital. Yes. There I stayed for about three weeks. Yes. I was given the medication, but it didn't help me. So the psychiatric medication did help you? Yeah, it didn't help me. And talk to me. So now, at that time I had been going to churches, nothing was happening. I also went to doctors, yes. I took medicine. Yes. Because the head was aching, they didn't help me. Yes. I did many things to see if this could end, but it did end. I'm told you even went to churches and sowed seed. Ulipanda Begu. But tell me about your condition now. When were you healed? After Madare, now I came to Rongai. Yes. When now I wanted to commit suicide because everybody has disowned me. Everybody disowned I, you? Yeah, they had disowned me. So tell me, who took you to Kakamega? Now, when I came to Rongai, I went to the altar in Rongai. Yes. You wanted to commit suicide? Yes, I wanted to commit suicide. And then you went to one of the repentance and holiness churches? Yes, and when I talked with the pastor, Yes. the pastor told me about Kakamega. I had heard about it in the radio. Yes. So we went to Kakamega. Yes. When we reached Kakamega, yes. I decided to stay near the toilet. So you stayed near the toilet again? Yes, to see if the condition will come back. Yes. Now, when it was on Sunday, mm. and I was still in the toilet. You were still in the toilet? Yeah, near the toilet. Yes. So when now I decided that I had to see your face. Yes. So I decided to go to the altar. Yes. But now where you are standing. Yes. When I saw your clothes at the back. Yes. You are white guy. Light came in my face and I couldn't withstand it and I fell in the mud. You said the glory of the Lord. The, the glory of the Lord touched you and you fell in the mud. Yes. Talk to me. And I so desired to see your face, but when I saw the clothes, the garment you are wearing at the back, that's when I fell in the mud and I was the fire I felt, I wanted to remove my coat. You felt now fire the, consuming your body. Yeah. Continue. Now the brethren that were picking me from the mud, yes. they asked me where am I removing my coat. Mm -hmm. I told them I felt fire when I saw your garment at the back. So tell me, what is your condition? Can you explain to me? Your... I'm very happy to talk to you about because of what you have done. Now I'm totally healed. You I don't go to eating. toilets. You are not eating human feces anymore. I am totally healed. I don't even smell. I don't even do it in the house. You don't eat human feces anymore. Now I don't eat it. I don't like it smell. The Lord has healed you. That is a very, very, very mighty miracle. That is a tremendous miracle in this land. That is one of the biggest miracles we have seen in this land. That is a humongous miracle. We need to glorify the Lord. Thank you very much, Francis. The Lord bless you. That is... Uh, Archbishop, you are going to discuss this to... Look at the gravity of some of the things that, uh, that the Lord has done that we have not known. We are going to discuss this very deep. We are first taking testimonies and then we are going to go through each one of them. And some of these things are so big, we have not heard about them. Testimonies that we have not heard. And he said they are bigger than what we have heard. This one here. This indeed is bigger than what we've had. Thank you so much. Can we get the next person? Praise the Lord, Pastor. Hallelujah. The second testimony, please. Testimony of feeling here, Anne Chelangat. Anne Chelangat. I'm na asthma for 16 years. Asthma for 16 years. 16 years, na she has never been our member. Yes. Na kukuta kakapeda. Alikuwa nasikiza kwa radio. Alikuwa nasikiza na hata hakukuwa na radio aliomba jirani. Ndiyo. 
na siku hiyo ambapo watu walianza kakamera alisitiwa na ugonjwa ndio akakuwa mgonjwa mpaka akaona atakufa akaanza kupeana watoto eh ati ya kwamba sasa wachungie watoto kwa sababu aliona ya kwamba anaanza kukufa ndio akatungwa mashindano kumi na ina masindano kumi na nne kumi na ina is today na kupata nafu yoyote ndio so mpaka akaenda karibu na radio yes akakaa kwa radio ndio mpaka wakati nabii wa Mungu alipokuwa akidiklea aki na ndipo alipata uponyaji na hapo hapa saa hii oh that's a very big miracle we bless the lord We bless the Lord so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a very mighty miracle. Thank you so much. Anaitwa Alice Nyariori. Alice Nyariori. Hii ni kushangaza sana. Ndio. Kwa sababu ni kama ile ambayo imeandikwa Biblia. Ndio. Wakati nabii wa Mungu aliaprove Tafsabet. Tafsabet. Mmoja ya basi zetu ndio ikawa imeandika en ile waipa ndio so wakati mama kutengeneza waipa na mara hapo mara moja na pia Mungu akakuja na yeye ndio na watu walikuwa wamefunga barabara ndio so wakashuka kwa haraka kwa gari ndio na wakaelekea mahali na pia Mungu alikuwa amesimama ndio sasa huyu mama akasema akanyemelea na kupenya katikati ya watu akasema nikigusa tu nguo ya nabii ndio ninacho nitapona amen alikuwa na shida gani Alikuwa na shida ya kuwa na meno. Kuumwa na meno kwa muda gani? Na anaoa meno nne. Amengoa meno nne. Saka ndo kando. Sasa alikuwa tu na meno saa sile saa mbele peke yake. Ndio. So alipo nyamelea na kukusa nguo na mtumishi wa Mungu nabii wa kweli wa Jehova ya nabii ya mwisho. Ndio. Akasikia ile maumivu imetoweka. Amen. Imeenda kabisa. Sasa haumi na meno tena imeisha. Tangu saa hiyo kabla ya Katamega alipokea uponyaji wake barabara. Amen. Hapa sasa. Ushuhuda unaofuata. Thank you so much. Anaitwa Kones. Kones. Kones, eh ushuhuda wake ni atushangaza kama hizi zingine. Ndio. Alikuwa na ugonjwa wa sukari tangu 2010. Diabetes. Ndio sasa wakati ambao alikuja kakamega na hakupona ndio akarudi longai kama yeye ni mgonjwa tu ndio alafu akaoa anasikia kuchukua posta ndio apeleke kwa haraka akafuta kupata akapata moja kwa dada moja ndio akachukua hiyo posta na yeye ni mwalimu ya secondary ya Rongai Boys Rongai Boys yes akachukua eh, ile posta akaenda akaweka kwa gari alipochukua tena akashika na alipofika nyumbani ndio sijui posta ilikuwa na upako wa kiasi gani utukufu wa Mungu posta iko na picha ya mtumishi wa Mungu nabii eh, iko na picha ya mtumishi wa Mungu nabii ndio alilala kufika kesho yake na ni wiki hii alikuta kwamba amepona na amepona saa hii na hata anashindana kwenda hospitali the lord be blessed thank you so much thank you so much bwana yesu kubariki jesus is lord radio hello bwana sifiwe amen pastor kale makindi Pastor Caleb in Gilgil. Karibu sana toka Gilgil mchungaji. Yes, we are blessing the Lord. Yes, because the Lord allows the servant of God to step in Gilgil. Yes. And we are having a fresh testimony here. Yes. Caroline Akinyi. Caroline Akinyi. He was sick for two years. Two years. Akiwa na shida gani? He has been having a problem of bleeding. Bleeding disease. Yes, where by has been miscarrying for two years. Yes. Doctors verified this. Yes. And finally there was no healing. Yes. But today when the servant of God stood at the highway. Yes. She was there. Mhm. Uh-huh. So it's a Yes. At that moment. Mm. But when the prophet of the Lord let us into repent of prayer. Yes. She is now healed. Hallelujah. The bleeding has stopped. Amen. We are really glorifying the Lord. Amen. Thank you that's very much. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Pastor. That's absolutely mighty. That's a fresh testimony, right? Yes. May the Lord be glorified. Jesus is Lord Radio. Hello. Hello. 
Bwana Yesu asithiwe. Amen. Karibu. Ni Pastor Nicholas Omondi. Pastor Nicholas Omondi. Togomin Alta. Togomin Alta. Nachukua nafasi na mshukuru Bwana. Ndio. Kwa sababu ya yale ambayo ametenda katika maeneo haya Togomin. Ndio. Tuko na shida tatu. Ndio. Ambao Bwana alitenda. Wa kwanza kwa kwanza ni Masi Chepkirui. Masi Chepkirui. 21 years old. 21 years old. Siko ambao nabia ni kwa kupita tablong. Ndiyo. Aliweza kunganyania na kaguza ile mmoja ambao nabia ni kwa mesimama. Ndiyo. Na hapo hapo kutoka kwa nadamu kikakoma. Kwa muda gani? That, that's a big blessing. Kwa muda wa mwaka mmoja. Mwaka mmoja alikuwa anafuja damu akikufunja damu hapo hapa ikakatika mara moja wa pili ndio tu aliguza meza kufunja damu ilikoma katika kaplo amen tunamshukuru bwana sana na wa pili mchungaji amen amen mama ambaye amekuwa akikula mchanga alikuwa anakula mchanga kwa miaka yake yote ndio mm-hmm. So, mkutano wa Kakamega alienda na mchanga kwa selene. Ndiyo. Lakini vile nabii wa Mungu alivyoomba, ndiyo. Hiyo kuu ya mchanga itaenda na hata kasahau vile mali tunaleka mchanga zingine. Amen. Alikunuliwa. <laughs> That's Amen. absolutely mighty, right? <laughs> But she was eating the soil. Tunamshukuru Bwana sana. Watatu? Watatu ni Mila Chepkanui. Chepkanui. Forty years old. Yes. Alikuwa na loose bladder. Loose bladder. Niko wa kujikodelea ofyo ofyo. Ndio. Na akaenda mkutano wa Jehova pale Kakamega. Ndio. Na hiyo shida yake ya kujoa ofyo ofyo ilikoma. Amen. Kwa muda wa miaka 30. For one year. For one year. One year loose. Akiwa na loose bladder. Ndio. That means uh, na, the urine was flowing non-stop. Yes. Lakini kakamega nabii alipoingia tu kwa kiwanja hiyo dada akaponywa. Alipoingia tu kwa uwanja naye akaponywa. Alifanya na ilikuwa mkutano wake wa kwanza kwa kweli kwa maisha yake yote. Amen. Na tunashukuru Bwana sana hata ani wewe. Ndio. Ilikuwa mkutano wao wa kwanza kufika. Tunambariki Bwana sana mchungaji asante. Amen. Thank you so much. The Lord be blessed. Jesus is Lord Radio Hello praise the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Amen karibu pastor Mimi pastor ya Sero kutoka Kitabi Town Alda Karibu mchungaji Nashukuru Yesu tunaoshuta moja Ndio Kwa mtana moja anaitwa Chekemoy Chekemoy e, alikuwa ametasaka kifafa kwa mwaka moja na mwezi tatu Yes pastor sasa alikuwa amepelekwa kwanza kitabu cha Sanjari ndio akasukumwa tena Kapkatet Hospital Kapkatet Hospital alafu akasukumwa Kericho Special Hospital ya watoto Kericho Special Hospital ya baadaye wakaambia wasafi naonekana hapo na stress ndio mkakuja kakamega sasa tukakuta kakamega kwanza wakati tuliingia pasi alikuwa anasema alikuwa anasikia kichwa sana kwa hivyo alikuwa anaanguka kama mara ngapi kwa siku mchungaji? Angeanguka mara tatu. Mara tatu kwa siku. Ya, yeah, lakini akianguka anataka karibu 8 hours sometimes hata akianguka. Ndio. Sasa wakati tulizika kaakameka anasema kitu ilikuwa na muuma alipo kanyaga tu uwanja ilikoma. Ndio. Na macho yake ilikuwa mekundu sana na ikaponya ikaponywa pia na anasema siku ya Jumamosi because he came on Friday ndio na Jumamosi asubuhi wakati mtumishi wa Mungu na pia alipoingia tu uwanja ndio anasema sasa kichwa cha mtani kilikuwa nafungana akili kwa class hata hapoenda shule for one year ndio na anasema angeona mwalimu anaona mbele mpaka inapotea mbele hata ili affect macho ndio lakini anasema wakati na pia alikanyaga tu uwanja kitu ilifunguka kichwa yake ikachoma chomo moto akatoa chacho sana ndio alivyosema mpaka hata acha acha akasema sasa naonekana huyu mtoto wako na vitungu tungu ataanguka yes 
lakini wenye walikuwa ni karibu na yeye wakati wa anakombolewa tangu mutoke kakamega amewahi kuanguka akianguka na amepona macho nimekuwa sawa hakuna macho mekundu hata amerudi shule hata amerudi shule the lord be blessed jesus is lord radio hello bwana yesu asifiwe karibu sana bwana yesu asifiwe Amen. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Ndio. Wewe ni pastor Mokaya kutoka Kisii. Karibu pastor. Nasi tunamuinua Kristo Yesu. Ndio. Kwa hela ambayo ametenda. Ametenda makubwa. Sana sana hata hapa Kisii. Mangapi? Ametenda mambo mengi kwa watu wengi. Basi tuanze na mbaya moja basi. Lakini nataka kupeana ushuhuda wa huyu mama moja. Yes anikitoa radio machuki recho ya huyu mama ndio alikuwa na upimbe kwa tumbo lake ndio wa miaka ngapi kwa miaka mbili miaka miwili na walikuwa wamefanya mipanga kwenda upasi wake tenweke ndio lakini kwa sababu walisikia kuhusu mkutano wa Bwana kule Kakamega ndio wakaeleza kwenda upasi wake wakasema waje tuende Kakamega kwanza ndio na baada ya kutoka Kakamega ndio alirudi nyumbani akiwa na sikia ile ufimbe bado iko kwa tumbo ndio lakini ilipofika siku ya Jumaine baada ya mkutano wa Kakamega ndio akiwa katika shughuli zake ndio alisikia ile ufimbe ikipasuka siku ya Jumaine akiwa nyumbani ndio <laughs> na baada ya kupasuka akakimbia kwenye restroom ndio akapata kwamba ile ufimbe imepasuka ndio sasa yuko huru amen ako mzima ndio anafurahia amen anampenda Yesu ongea na mume wake liko hapa praise the lord praise the lord amen uvimbe ulikuwa kiasi gani kubwa kubwa eh ndio ukifika hivi unasikia tu kwa kwa tumbo kubwa hivi eh bwana akapasua mara moja ikaisha yote ikatoka yote kabisa sasa yako uhuru tunashukuru bwana sana mchungaji amen amen uko na ushuhuda mwingine ndio wa mama mmoja pia ndio anaitwa mama roda mama roda ni mama mjane mama mjane ambaye jamii yake ilikuwa imesambaratika ndio watoto pamoja na yeye watoto wako wanaelewana eh lakini baada ya mkutano wa Kakamega ndio Bwana ametenda miujiza katika hiyo familia ndio watoto wamerudi pamoja ndio umekuwa na urejesho mkubwa katika hiyo familia amen na tunamshukuru Mungu sana watatu kama ipo ushuhuda watatu ni watu mmoja anaitwa Patrick Patrick alikuwa na shida ya kusikia kwa upande moja masikio yake kwa hivyo sikio moja lilikuwa kiziwi E, lakini katika mkutano wa Bwana Kakamega ndio Bwana alifungua masikio yake Amen Tuko na mama moja anaitwa Teresa Barongo Teresa Barongo alikuwa na shida ya miguu ndio lakini hapo anaweza kutembea miguu ilikuwa inamuumba ndio angeweza kutembea kwa safari mrefu ama aende mbali ndio na hata tiketi chini ilikuwa ni shida kuamuka ndio lakini baada ya mkutano wa Bwana Kakamega ndio sasa anaweza kwenda na kupanda kwa milima na kutembea mbali kwa miguu Amen Jehova alimkumbuka Amen Tuko na mama moja anaitwa Dori Kachenima ndio alikuwa na shida ya mgongo kwa muda mrefu sana ndio na hata angeweza kufanya kazi hata kurara ilikuwa ni shida ndio hata angeweza kusimama kwa muda mrefu ndio lakini kwa mkutano wa Bwana kule Kakamega yes ameponywa kabisa amen anaweza kuinama ndio anaweza kurara vizuri ndio anaweza kutembea amen na tunamuinua Jehova amen Jehova akunuliwe amen asante Amen. Asante oh, sana pastor. That's very powerful. Very very powerful. We will take a short break now and then when we come now the bishops led by the archbishop will now weigh in on this because some of the testimonies here we have not heard before and they're very mighty. Now the archbishop will lead the bishops council and the pastors here to weigh in on each one of these 
because today we are seeing a different face of the healings. These are the healings that were not announced at the altar. And it would have been a very big mistake if the Lord did not send me here to take this testimony. Because the cases like the case of Francis, the young man that was going from toilet to toilet, I mean, this is very big. And then leprosy, someone that lost the five fingers from the right hand and then one finger from the left and had a lot of wounds and they have been dried, now he can clap and they are healed, you know. I mean, these are testimonies that we would not have ever accessed if the Lord did not send me here. So let's take a short break on the other side of this break. Then the Archbishop will lead a very, very major discussion and then we'll continue taking testimonies. We will not stop taking testimonies. May the Lord be glorified. (laughs) 